Oh boy, that's the menu music for you. Ah, right, I gotta remember. Uh, D-pad is C-stick. And the left stick is a little oversensitive. Okay. So, real quick, let me just drop an exclamation mark rando in there, and you can see what is going on with this seed. It is gonna be a wild one, I think. We are doing some things a little bit differently. We're not quite in full-on randomized yet. We're, you know, we're still, uh... Uh-oh. Um... Oh, okay, right, because it's... It's because I'm tabbed out, and for some reason on BizHawk, the buttons will work, but not... Uh, the stick will work, but not the buttons, rather. Had that backwards. Um... What I mean to say is that this time around, we are going to be doing a Triforce hunt instead of anything else, and we got a couple of other things randomized. We didn't see... We didn't see starting time period randomized, but that is a thing that we have going for us. Oh, some of these things seem to be uh, the same as usual, but the music is different. And by the same as usual, I mean... Well, okay, at least... That randomization is only... And there we go! We found our first piece of the Triforce. We have to find 20 to complete this run. And also, a lot more of the world is open to us. We don't have to beat any of the dungeons if we don't want to, because Temple of Time is open. Uh, Ganon's Tower is open. And I have removed the item for all three spiritual stones from our thing. Excuse me. Well, the two, rather, because there's that and a song. I have just realized that I don't believe I took off the... the position that's usually light arrows from being randomized. So that may end up coming back to bite us in the ass later, but... You know, hopefully... hopefully that is not an issue. I guess we'll see how it all hashes out eventually. For now, this appears to be house of, or house rather, forest of the money. Okay, good. My my Z is on R two, not L two. That is gonna confuse me for like a week, but we'll get through this together. Don't worry. It won't be that bad. It will certainly not be quite as miserable as that last one, where it was just like, oh, by the way, right at the end, you gotta go complete the other three dungeons to go get this item that you might not have needed if the rest of the RNG had been nice to you, but unfortunately... <laughs> yeah. This game being nice. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Whatever you say, buddy. Crud. Yeah, I'm still not really always going to be great at walking around here, because stick sensitivity in that. What do you got for sale? Good shop music. And for sale, we have absolute garbage in here, really. Nothing of any value whatsoever. In fact, so far, we are coming up a little bit short in items just in general, but we do have... We've got our thing, we've got the claim check already, so... We can literally just go do that trade as soon as possible. And I can walk off of that bridge again. It, it's just five rupees. I don't know why I care. I can walk across these big square stones in the water and get my five rup. And we can go and see... Well, we can see what our battle music is. We can also see if this dungeon is Master Quest or not, because we can't actually do jack shit in here, really. Ow. 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 
Uh, we can try sneaking around the tree because I'm pretty sure there's a couple of gossip stones around. We can see if they have anything useful to say to us. What you got for me? Bottle can be found at Death Mountain Crater. Cool. Alright, we can't get over that tree root. Alright, let's take a look at our, our Deku tree here and how, uh, what evil version we have here. I think this is vanilla. Yeah, because we've got the, the three things. Uh, there's usually a spider over here, I believe. We'll find out if we get bombed by Goma babies or not when we go over to the chest. Yeah, this is regular. Okay, so basically this is super easy. Hooray, we got another piece of heart. Can't do anything in there. We don't have a shield at all, do we? Nope. So we're in no position to deal with scrubs. Let us exit the Kokiri Forest. I'm feeling like I should probably invest at some point in, like, an actual thing for an N64 controller just because of how much this wiggles. I'm sure there's got to be, like, a USB thing for an actual N64 controller. People make all kind of questionably useful items for, for video game related purposes. They sure do. Oh wait, we should go get the item at the exit to the forest here. Fuck off! I don't want all these heart pieces, they're not useful. At this point, I have the claim check, and that's it. Are you kidding me? Like, wow, this, this place has been real great. What do you got? Gerudo Training Grounds hoards a piece of heart. Well, I'm not surprised by that. There's enough of them in the game, and there's enough chests in GTG. Oh, I'm glad to hear this music. It accurately sums up how I feel just in general right now. I need to point out I can't even cut grass for stuff. Alright, so over here there's those dudes. <laughs> this music would work well on certain days of your job. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> the carnival music. <laughs> How you doing, Bronco? <laughs> Honestly, the fact that I have nothing is still kind of kind of hilarious, though. <laughs> I can't, I can't, you know, argue with that. <laughs> How far into the game am I? I just started, like, less than ten minutes ago. And there is not really anything to be gained from rolling into those trees right now. I'm trying to think what chests I can access as a child with literally nothing. Or not even chests, it's just, just items. I've got a little bit of cash. I can probably go visit Dampe. 
if I get there at the right time, which I think I'll get pretty darn close at least. There's the item from the chicken lady. Yeah, no weapons whatsoever in Kokiri. My items from the four chest house were a wallet, the claim check, a piece of heart, and like a five rupee. And there was a purple roop at the back of the place where the Kokiri sword is. Oh my god, I just said sword again. Also this music. This music has really grown on me after I didn't hear it in the last seed whatsoever. Uh, we got garbage from the easily accessible chest in uh, Great Deku Tree. I forget if we can even access the stuff upstairs in there, so... Ah, uh, five rupees. Crud. So, uh, there was nothing of any real use available in the Kokiri shop. I can't buy bomb shoes yet because bomb shoes are in logic. So that was otherwise the only useful thing that was there. There wasn't even a shield. I don't have a shield, so I can't deal with scrubs. I can't find it. Slap gossip stones to find out what time it is. <laughs> So we're, we're pretty much just going to do this a little bit in order to chew clock until I'm sure that it's, like, reasonably dark out. Oh wow, I gotta remember that it you don't have to turn the corner on that. For some reason, that does not, like, fit in with my brain very well. Uh, basically, we're going to try and visit Dampe if we can. That should be pretty close. I can't get to this item as a child, but I can go look at it real quick. Once I switch to adult form, there is a lot of, like, just free stuff that I can go for, but I'm waiting a moment before we do that. It's nut. If I'm that hard up for stuff, that... Actually, wait, no, I can... I can get free nut as an adult. Who am I kidding? Ah, uh, good old plastic Allen and nut takeout. <laughs> I know, right? How do you work? Oh, there's a song. A song that I can't play, but a very easy to get song, nevertheless. I don't even have to go do Dampe's race for that. It just is not going to be easy because it's a thing that I suck at doing, but it's there. Oh, the, the little scumbag kid is still out here. Don't you have Eminem records to be listening to or something, kid? 1640. Um, what's the... <laughs> that was so strangely mean. I don't mind Eminem that much. <laughs> Alright, 18 to 21, uh, hours here. So we gotta go stand outside for another couple of minutes basically to let the clock go forward in order to, uh, have Dampe let us give him 10 bucks and get an item that is probably gonna be another piece of heart if I if I know how this randomizer wants to treat me already. That said, 
I did already get at least one piece of the Triforce. Which is our goal this time instead of dungeons or anything like that. Because I figured let's do something a little different. So I'm already technically 5% done with the game. All right, are we not quite? All right, Dampe, you're my only clock here. Seven twenty-one. We're just barely too early. Unfortunately, we wouldn't really have time to go check DMT and see if we can uh, find out what's above Dodongo's. Alright, so, thinking it through... And that may have been, like, a couple of minutes, a little bit early there. Thinking it through, there is... There are two items that I can get basically for free at Gerudo Valley. There should be a grotto that is open out in the field, which I believe is a regular, um, I believe it's a, air quotes, regular grotto, if you will, where we can get a chest, and speaking of which, there's one of those around here. So, I can do this. I'm curious if I can go talk to Rooftop Man. Yeah, there we go. There's the hole I'm looking for. Hey, we found the hole. Da -da 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 -da. Hint? Playing Sun Song in a Grave spawns piece of heart. Okay. Who cares? Boop -ba -doop -ba -doop -ba -boop. Silver scale, huh? Interesting. That lets us get into Zora's domain as a kid. That lets us get the item at Lake Hylia. <laughs> I can get the item... I can get the thing in Lon Lon Ranch in the silo already. In fact, uh, behind the, the crate pushing thing. I don't think there's any way we're getting up on that roof right now. Anyway, let me go do the thing I was actually here for, but I'm pretty sure that I'm still like a minute or two early in in game clock. Because that would just be the way, but as you've as we've shown off before, this is a pretty thin timer for getting to see Dampe. Yeah, it's 1751, so we are just barely short. Impressive, I think. Except kind of the other thing. Yeah, see, and that guy even just spells it out. The guy who I accidentally talked to instead of rolling. Let's go kill time in the field. Yes, that's what I've been trying to do. I've been out here. Just 
absolutely attempting to kill Clock while I wait for this to happen. Calm down, Navi. Five, four, three, two, one. We're good. We got skeletons. We should be fine. Navi's sound is King Zora. In fact, most of my sound effects are King Zora going weep because I have a really, really goofy sense of humor that I find that really funny. So I actually like hard set most of those to it because we don't get that cutscene in the randomizer because the randomizer cuts out most of the cutscenes just in general. Because it's designed more for speedrunners. Like, honestly. No, but I think you might be able to set set it as a frog. Oh, look, it's a piece of heart. I ain't even surprised by that. I believe you can set it as the frog sound. Anyway, yes, this randomizer, like quite a few of them, is designed primarily for like speedrunning and stuff. Which, that always makes me feel a little bit weird when I do stuff like this, because I'm like, oh, is somebody going to come in here like a big time speedrunner? Like, oh, yeah, you're, you know, and not realize that I'm just being a filthy casual or something, but on the other hand, I'm not that big of a deal really, so it's not too much to have to worry about most of the time. Anyway, this graveyard turned out to be a complete bust. Let us go and investigate the old uh, item over to Dongo's Cavern, because we can get that now if we uh, do that backflip properly, which is not too hard. Can't check that. We have no bombs nor bomb chews. And that's right, that one's the spider. It's the other one that has an item. Is that another piece of heart? Is that five so far? Jesus. The pieces of heart are out in force today. That's the randomizer I know and love. Yes, yes, we've, we've been inside the tree. I'm trying to set things up so I can backflip here. No, I, I want to be able to backflip. Come on. Game, let me be able to backflip. There we go. There we go. It's not easy to make, but... Despite the fact that it's useless, I'll take it anyway. You got anything to say, buddy? Just out of curiosity. No. Oh. I don't think I've ever seen that, that bit of dialogue. Alright, over to Goron City. I think we can access a shop. We can't access a lot of the items here in general, but the shop should be doable.
No, we need a we need a bomb flower here. And to do that, we would need to light a stick on fire. I mean, we do have a stick now at least, so we've got that going for us. Huzzah, we can kill one enemy. Amazing. So, there's really nothing we can do here, but we got a stick. We can get a little bit of cash, I guess. If the game's gonna give us those 11 roop, that is probably useful. Or will be eventually, also the music died again. <laughs> I love how glitchy this randomizer makes the music, like it'll just die randomly, pretty much. That's great. Okay, so Silver Scale unlocks uh, Zora's River, or Zora's Domain, rather, as we've mentioned before, but it does unlock Zora's River from the back side as well. So the question remains if we can get on the other side of that pile of rocks to grab the bird in order to traverse all of Zora's river. And that would possibly give us access to some items depending on what all is there. We can also check the Zora shop. There's a chest in the domain. There's... There's a chunk of stuff, so... That silver scale is a pretty good find, actually, and honestly, the the one stick, I've been making fun of that thing. I should equip that. That'll give us a little bit of time here uh, to pattern things out. And I know what you're thinking. Couldn't you use a tracker to tell, your, to tell you about that? In theory, yes, but I sort of hit upon a, a weird... Oh, hi, Brian. How's it going? After that tournament race win, I have to imagine pretty fucking good. I'm pretty sure you beat Prince Leaf by over a minute there. That was pretty cool. For those of you who are not following the channel GG underscore speedruns for the Super Smash TV tournament, it is kind of, uh, you know, closing in towards the ending of it. I believe there's only a few more matches to go, but it is still a lot of fun to watch. There's still some pretty hype shit going on. That huge relief, you know, fair enough. That is, that race though, that was pretty great. Went all the way through all seven rounds. That massive win in round seven for you, that, oh, that was so good. Cause you were getting such such crappy luck with a lot of that. I hope you're doing well otherwise, too. Uh, and yeah, um, do I have anything else to add there? Aside from, I would love to get around to some of those projects that have been mentioned in uh, on Discord and just some other Risk of Rain 2 and all of that, and also that I'm enjoying the Tecmo Super Bowl. That has been a lot of fun to watch. <laughs> Those games of the Steelers earlier today. I'm like, and you were concerned. You were worried that playing as the Pittsburgh Steelers was gonna suck. Actually, there were a couple of those games that were that was definitely the game was being a little mean to you, so fair enough. We're not even gonna waste our time with the skeletons because we have plenty of cash and we have a whole whopping one stick to our name in terms of things we can hurt people with. Let's just try and get to the ranch. Uh, let's wait around for a second to see what music this place has. As we are just going into the storage room in the back. 
to go grab what is usually a piece of heart, but actually seeing how this randomizer seed is gone already. Yeah, it's gonna be a piece of heart again. Let's not kid ourselves. <laughs> oh, hey, there's Ingo. Just hanging out. Something I very rarely see is Ingo when uh, Link is a kid. Because of course, usually you don't go here. You, you already know how this game goes. Also, Opoto making the the King Zora noises because, frankly, why not? That sound effect was one that was randomized, I believe. All right. Game, just let me drop off of the, the crates, come on. I guess I'll do it the hard way. Honestly, I probably did this whole thing the hard way. Hey, it's a Triforce Shard! That is another 5% of the game done. We are 10% done with this run already. I wish that was indicative of how fast this would go. Because then all that means is polish up your technique, and this could be a one session run or something. Unfortunately, no, this is not that fast normally. Link, why are you backing into the wall? Oh. Actually, opponent's sound effect being randomized is really distracting. <laughs> it's hilarious, though! Or at least, I find it funny. I'm very easily amused, though, as we've probably figured out by this point. Appear to have pissed off one of the pea hats. That ain't great. However, I will still stop for those three rupees. Even though at 149, I feel like I don't need those right now. Excuse me. Chicken. I realize I have no shield to do a shield drop. And we go across to the crate. Yeah, that'll do. Roll. Serious song? Minuet of Forest. Still basically solves about the same problem. And unfortunately, that chicken just just decided to fuck off, so... We are gonna have to loop back around to grab the last item here at Gerudo Valley that we can actually pick up at the moment. Ah, 
However, while I'm in the area, I will pick up the item that is usually Princess Rudo's bottle. Which should just be hanging out like right here, right? Can't see what it is. Can't see where it is. Is that a shield? No, I think that's nut. Yep, it's nut. Well, that's not completely worthless, believe it or not. If we're in a position where we cannot fight anything with any weaponry whatsoever, basically, a nut still means that we have a way of uh, haranguing Deku scrubs and getting items out of them. The Water Trial. Okay, so the Water Trial has not been solved in Ganon's Tower. Why'd I go in here? There's nothing to do in here at this point. Getting slightly confused is all. All right, so bird. Okay, yes, I I just need I just need Kapoor Gabora here to fuck off for a moment. And away he goes! Did someone just set off a firework? I... I heard an explosion outside. That'll do. That's not ideal, because we didn't hit multiple... Yes! We got a shield! That is huge! We no longer have to deal with limited nut in order to uh in order to handle these dudes. Nice, we got a bottle. Alright, remember your controls. The <laughs> pop-off just reached me. <laughs> Sounds about right. And hey, we get a refund for that last item. Well, a shield is still pretty handy. I mean, obviously, we're going to need more stuff in order to be able to, like, actually fight decently, but we're off to an okay start now, finally. No Zora's Domain for us just yet. We're gonna go and we are going to go get the item behind the waterfall at Gerudo Valley. Actually, I should go look for the... I should go look for the hole around here that I know can be gotten. Hey, don't don't lean like that. That's not good. I don't know if it's just me or or what with these controls. It probably is like part me, part the controller I'm using. Part a lot of things, really. All right, so as mentioned before, this is a regular one. The development branch may be unstable. Oh, wow. Unfortunately for you, I'm not using that, so... 
Hey! Nice! We are at 3 out of 20 Triforce pieces. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right, so now that we've got the shield, we should go and visit the scrub chamber in Lon Lon Ranch and see if we can't get some items that way. Yeah, let's go right into that lens flare. No, I think it's the other side of the storage room. Where is it? Oh. Right, so it's gonna be further over this way. And for some reason in my brain, that little storage chamber thing over there is just in like dead center south for some reason, because that kind of makes sense even though that's not where it is on the map. Oh yeah, okay, it's just all the way in the back. I just gotta remember to hug the wall next time, or remember how this works. Just in general. Alright. What do you got, buddy? Ooh. 20% everybody! 20%! Ow! Guy got mad at me for gloating, didn't he? <laughs> well, this room is just a free 10% of the game so far. That's amazing. The Big Goron Sword! Yeah! Oh! We are getting some amusing things for sure! Is the simplest way that I can put it. That ain't gonna give us the game, but it's definitely pretty great! The Bigger Ron Sword. The larger Ronald sword. Which is appropriate because if you try using it during the Ganon fight, you'll just look like a big clown. Oh, wait. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that entirely, but I suppose the punchline almost works. Oh, 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 oh,
Ah, uh, the chicken. There we go. All right. Time to get to the back of that waterfall. It's not the ideal way to do this, but I suppose this is what the game wants me to do. This must have to be the way. I think I'm lined up correctly. Yes, there we go. Bomb shoes! Yeah! That opens many things to us. If we don't mind getting ourselves hurt a lot. And I mean, at this point, well. get open field music in Zora's Domain. Okay, game, that's fine by me. Don't really need to go on that platform. We don't have Song of Storms. We can't even play it if we do. Check around for some supplies, because of course I know there's a stick. Alright, shop, what have you got in store for us? Stick, bombs, blue fire, Hylian shield. Eh. It's mostly junk. I guess if worst comes to worst with the Hylian Shield, we have that. But for now, we got a torch puzzle to handle. In the box. More bomb shoes. Hell yeah. <laughs> I like this. <laughs> I like this. <laughs> I can blow myself up even more. Ooh yeah. Not 100% sure why I turned into a, a Randy Savage bit there, but, you know. <laughs> Clearly I need to get, like, actual soundbite commands on this channel, so I can just have that touch of a button or so, or, you know, however many it actually t takes to type in the commands, that way we can just, ooh, yeah! On demand. And it'll sound like the actual sound instead. 
All right, let's make five rupees and get a piece of heart or something. Let's see what Fishman has for us. Oh. Guess we got that already. Game's mad at us for farming too many sticks. Oh no. Alright, what's the deal, buddy? Yep. The Megaton Hammer. Oh, nice. I, I didn't want to... I didn't want to do that, but I can make the money back, I guess. Or something. Again, no actual reason to, to continue with that. I'm just grabbing a few. Because uh, apparently when you press B on yes. That counts as saying yes in this game. Very strange thing, but I didn't even remember the slightest. And there is a Triforce. So we are really going to want to figure out how to do that. All right, Magic Bean Man is going to have an item for us. I forgot that I shuffled Magic Beans in. Plundering Jabu Jabu's belly is a foolish choice. Okay, so there's an ice trap in there, I guess. Uh, duly noted. Ah, yes, the ice traps. I feel like one of these days I should probably set up an ice trap mayhem scene just to throw that in there because that sounds like it would be a complete disaster area. And that item is worthless because it's a heart. Oh, you jerk. Come on, man. How you gotta be like that? Oh, right, because you're an Octorok. I forgot, they're just kind of jerks by default. Again, if I can remember... I should see if I can assign my Z button to both my L2 and R2. And that way I don't have to worry about that issue ever again. Oh nice, Bomb Chew's butt is flashing blue. Pretty all right color. And yeah, we're taking a, a chunk of damage around here, aren't we? All right, Magic Bean Man. 60 bucks for, nice. Full heal and double HP, basically. That's pretty potent.
Okay, so I don't remember if this is the No, this one is... Yes, the other one's a fairy fountain. Double defense. Yeah, we found that just a moment ago. The hook shot. Oh, yes. Now we are not... It's a good thing we don't have to just... Blow through 40 spiders before we find the hook shot like that last seed. Where it turned out that there was another hook shot that was available in a much easier place. And we could have waited to get that to get the long shot. But that whole seed was a complete disaster area, that thing. Oh boy. What a problem. There we go. Piece of the Triforce. Yeah. Get in the water. Let's go back to Kokiri Forest, because we got some stuff we can do around here. And it doesn't all have to do with circus music. Hint? 40 skulls for 30 arrows. Meh. Well, we don't have to think about that too much then so far, I guess. I'm about to find out that there's, like, a crucial item on 50 or something, aren't I? That's where you get the first slingshot or something like that. That's easier. Deep in the Wasteland is a huge rupee. That, I think, is the underground area with the torches. At the rate we're going, though, we won't need to bother with that because we are up to 7 out of 20 Triforce Shards. Amazing. We've been at this for just under an hour. And we technically have 35% of the run complete. Alright, bud. What you got? A heart piece. Well... I mean, I guess the full heal was, you know, our health was not full, so, okay. I'm doing it again. I need to change that control at some point. Hey, our wallet's full. Oh, uh, this is five rupees. Whoops. Don't go out yet. Can't pick up grass. Is there anything under this rock? I don't remember. Yes, there is. Scrub place, okay. Oh, crud. 
If I hadn't uh, double swapped the target, that would have been almost oh, slick. Bomb bag. Well, I guess we don't have to blow ourselves up with bomb shoes anymore, so that's something. And we got a Deku Nut capacity increase. That is not the item capacity increase I would have liked. I would have preferred sticks. Because I could use the sticks right now, but you know what? That's okay, I guess. Ah, crud, what am I doing? Targeting properly, please. Scram, both of these. Aw, oh, Nehru's love. That's not useful. At least not right now. So I don't think there's anything really that we can do at the moment by going this way. I don't think this hides any real items, but it opens the area for us. Because yeah, we can't we can't see Saria yet because we haven't seen Zelda. And we can't access the scrub hole because we don't have... Uh, we don't have... What's it called? Uh, we don't have Song of Storms. And no... No flute to play it with either, so... Yeah, if I could just get my words together, right? Dodongo's Cavern Hoard's a piece of heart. Yeah, of course it does. Bomb bag can be found at the lost well. About that. That appears to no longer be true as I have it instead. Mm, wait a second. Goron City is available right now. We can. We can do some stuff there. We got a bomb bag. We've got a, like 21 bomb shoes or something. We are well stocked. Hey, Retro. How's it going? As you can see, we're doing another one of these because our last seed was brutally awful. But this time, we're doing a Triforce hunt, which is a little bit different. And we're currently at 7 out of the 20 Triforce chunks that we need to beat the game. So, we've been having to run a good luck lately. Try out your first Link to the Past rando run. Neat! I have only done Link to the Past rando... I think the only time I've done it so far was a multi-world run with myself, Brysulf, and Mulderman. And that... I do not know Link to the Past very well, and so that absolutely whooped my ass. But it was pretty fun, so I wouldn't complain, you know? It's a pretty neat idea. I'm also very interested in checking out the... Um... Uh, the, the Super Metroid Link to the Past double randomizer, where it shuffles both games together. That seems pretty cool. I saw... I mean, I've seen it before. I saw it back when Alan played it a couple of years ago. 
But I also recently saw Fear on Burgundy streaming that, like, last night even. And he definitely was given the works by that thing, but in terms of the seed, but still, it's a pretty neat idea. I would like to check that out at some point. So for now, we're just gonna sit here and we're gonna wait to give Hot Rodder Goron a little, little present here. Oh, that's definitely a pretty good run of luck you had there, wow. Oh, uh, can we see any information here? Oh, we can see what what dungeons are Master Quest and normal already? Wow, I did not realize that that was going to be free. Uh, free info. So, oh boy. Master Quest Spirit Temple. Ooh, rough. This is the way your mother likes it, Rebecca. Wow, the, the game really gave you... The game definitely gave you some good shit real fast there. Oh, that still hurts us. That's right, I, I just forgot that that does. Isn't it? No, the right side is where you start getting. Oh no, you. The it ends at the left side, right? No boss is beaten yet. But as I said, this is this is Triforce shards. We may not need to do that. I think I think Triforce hunt just requires you to well get the Triforce pieces. Don't necessarily take my word for it, because I don't 100% know this is my first time doing this, but... Yeah, I haven't really delved into any of the dungeons, I've just been doing stuff in the overworld. Final prize of these training is a red rupee. There's still a decent number of items. Yeah, see, there we go, we found a piece of the Triforce. We are at 8 out of 20. Well, yeah, if bosses hold Triforce pieces, then obviously we have to fight those. But it's one of those we don't really know for sure kind of things. So it's something that will be investigated eventually. I'm just doing this stuff first because I can't get that last item. I forgot. Oh, by the way. Yeah, Gossip Stone, that's how I feel, knowing that the last item in Gerudo Training Grounds is the Red Rupee. Actually, that's not so bad, because then we don't really have to worry about it. I mean, there might be some other stuff in there, but so far it is... Oh yeah, we've been in here already. Duh. Brr, I'm doing this the stupid way. That's enough of those terrible noises. Uh, what else can I do at the moment? I don't have Din's Fire or Zelda's Lullaby and an Ocarina, so I cannot break into Darunia's room to start setting the pot rotating. I can go to... Well, there's stuff in the Hyrule Castle vicinity that I can start doing. But before that, I'm trying to hash what I can do before that. There's an item along the side of Death Mountain here. Technically, we can go do Dodongo's Cavern. We can do like all of it, I think. We can go to DMC. But there's nothing up there, 
at this point for us. We can get the Kokiri sword. That is pretty great. He plays Vegeta. That's right. There's a bunch of see a uh, bunch of sprites for Link to the Past randomizer. Uh, we can visit the cow and we can get some money. A lot of Namekians must have died in there. <laughs> I get that one at least. You know something? I don't need to do Dongo for a while, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open it up. We're going to drop, drop a bomb. And cool guys roll away from explosions, except I didn't remember to roll. And I'll just get hit in the back, because at this point, why not? Fight some spiders. We got everything in the graveyard that we can get for the moment, because... Well... I mean, once we turn into an adult, we can go in there, of course. We can, uh, we can go do Dampe. And once we have Zelda's lullaby and an instrument, we can go into the Sun Song place and get not the Sun Song. It'll cause some problems. Yeah, very soon. Do not worry. We are actually, yeah, uh, Hyrule Castle is going to be the next thing that we do, because that over there is a just a hole with a spider in it. Got unique architecture and stuff, though. This, however, I believe that this is a regular grotto, so that's worth using a bomb while we kill some clock here. Or is it the other, like on the other side of that weird structure? Okay, yeah, here we go. We got a grotto. It's a cavern piece of heart. Okay, yeah, I figured as much. Zelda's a lullaby. Well, that's half of what we need there, but unfortunately, we, again, are a little bit lacking in the ocarina having area, so that doesn't do us a ton of good. While we wait for this, I'd like I'd like you to take a moment to think about a rather annoying thing that I just considered briefly that I sure as hell hope is not true. Imagine if our big progress right now is locked behind the treasure chest game. That would be the least fun thing possible, I think. Because I have no lens of truth and no magic meter. Alright, spider collected. Let us go check out our shops. As we get the uh, Death Mountain area boss music. I don't know why it's used for only those two bosses, but it is. Alright, here's the shop with the picture of the dude's face on it. Wow, explosives galore. We've got bomb chews, bomb chews, bombs, and garbo. What about the potion shop? What have you got for us? 
You got two heart containers. You got the magic beans. All right, thirty bucks. Let's take the heart containers because they're here. And the magic beans. And that is going to be, by the way, for those of you who have never seen the magic beans get randomized into one of these, that is all ten. This is this guy. <laughs> oh boy, here's final boss music for us. Because that's going to help my nerves for this. Crud. Okay, yeah, I've got to do something about this stick sensitivity in a second. Alright, so... Give me just a moment here to see if I can dial down the sensitivity on my controller over here in this thing. Um, 200%, that's way too high. Yeah, um, so here's the thing. My description is currently incorrect. I changed emulator, so I am now using... Uh, I'm using, I believe it's Mupen64 Plus via BizHawk. So, my settings are probably a little bit off, basically, and I just dialed down the sensitivity on that a little bit, and you can see that things are still a little bit, a little bit over the top, but I can probably uh, change that up a little more in a moment, if need be. And in fact, I'm pretty sure it will need be. But... We can at least get that under our belt, and we get ourselves a piece of the Triforce. We're at 45% complete with those, apparently. That is very fast. Okay, I see at least part of the problem here is that I only tweaked one part of this, so... Yeah. That's a little weird. Oh, that's pretty good, man. That's a... That's a good amount of game progress that we've got under our belts, so... Yeah. Alright, you. Eh, yeah, sure. What have you got for us in that item? We got the Goron Bracelet. Good times. Of course, that means we cannot currently go to the castle and do anything useful over there, but... That is a strength upgrade for us, so yes! Uh, we got 60 bucks. Let's do some bomb chew bowling. And see if we can't get ourselves a couple more items. Honestly, this music is a little bit fitting for bomb shoot bullet. Five rupees. Wow. Now that's just rude. I'm not very good at this, so yeah, this music is a little more fitting for this, needless to say. Alright, chicken, just stay over there, please. Alright, we got the big chicken. Oh, wow. I'm not very good at this. Gets it in three shots. Then again, the prize is only five rupees, so... Maybe that's why the Kukos are so well-behaved here. Big rupee. That is equally useless in terms of progress, but it is a much better reward. And by the way, yes, for anybody who's wondering, yes, there are tricks to this. I just don't remember what they are. That's probably not going to do it with the, the spike trap in the way. Probably 
probably just throw it straight down the alley at this point. I said straight down the thing, come on. That was not straight down the thing. Right, straight down the pipe. Up you get, there we go. All right, so we've got a whole two shots left to make this in, which is gonna be a problem, to put it nicely. Actually, again, the, I was gonna say the big chicken looks like it's hanging out off to the side, so. Damn it! That was unfortunate, but on the other hand, Oh no, we lost a large rupee. That's not really much skin off of our butt here. We can go farm cash again and just, you know, have money available for next time we need it. Ah, crud. I turned a little too much there. Well. We should be able to get back to the front gate before the daytime runs out. And we want to go in at nighttime. Not because we're going to do the treasure chest game. That would be really stupid. But because we want to go... And check out the bomb chew shop, which should now be open because we have bomb chews. There we go. 106, that should do us for now. Uh, yeah, we can also do this the dog side quest here. Grab this dog, drag it along for the ride. I think it's this house. Remember for sure. Oh no, that one's the bomb shoe shop, and there's a <laughs> there's a green rupee for sale in there. <laughs> I didn't even see the rest of the items. I just saw that because I was like, uh, that's right. Let me go get the dog first. Man, yeah, dog. <laughs> this guy's selling me a green rupee. I I don't know what to say to that. Nice. Got a Triforce piece for rescuing someone's dog. Oh, great. Rescue dogs. Alright. <laughs> 220 rupees for a green rupee. That's... That's ballsy, sir. I, I admire it.
As it just makes me think of the bomb salesman in Wind Waker, who is just like, you're definitely not getting this kid. Absolutely not. And selling his bombs for like a hundred thousand a piece or something, I don't remember. Shooting the sun grants recovery heart. Shadow trial needs to be done. Horsey song in, in there. When all else fails, use fire. You're not entirely wrong. Honestly, we could probably do most of Deku Tree right now, I think. Three spiritual stones found in Hyrule, one in the Fire Temple, one in the Water Temple, one in the Shadow Temple. Yeah, so if... If dungeons are a thing, we wouldn't have to do those, that's for sure. However, as the bridge is already open, giving us access to Ganon's castle... Jesus. The musical choice there is... And on top of that, we have Ganon's castle music... ...for... ...just the Temple of Time in general. Pardon my yawn. So that whole thing is... ...kind of funny in a really disturbing way. Um... I can't right now. Otherwise, that wouldn't be too hard. I would just need the bow and the flute, and I'd be able to actually get in there and give them what for. Because I can just use Minuet of Forest to warp to Sacred Forest Meadow, get a free item there. You know, the works. But unfortunately, I am missing those items. I would need a I need the bow to fight Phantom Ganon, but I wouldn't need it to get in. Actually, let me wait around for daytime. Because I believe I can go do the uh, the bow mini game. Uh, can you not hookshot these trees whatsoever? Huh? I did not know that. It doesn't even leave a, a mark in that tree whatsoever. Come on, Link. You can do better than that. Probably. Alright. Well, doesn't this setup look familiar? Oh, I am jobbing pretty severely here. Yeah, I fucked this up pretty badly. I was not prepared for that first uh, set of reds. And that was a big killer. I think I can get away with this still. Okay, we just need to be perfect for the rest of this. And 
and that's not too hard. All right, well, reset. Crap, wow, I really goofed that one. Damn it! Good aim. Oh, boy. Uh, the sensitivity issue has definitely changed a little bit, that's for sure. It's not in a particularly useful direction. Yeah, you can see, like, the big thing that has changed instead is that my aim is very boxy. So I think I probably actually really want to switch back to Project 64 because that seems to do better with the sticks in general. Or just swap over to using the D-pad to control the left stick during this or something. Yeah, what in the... Try clicking the stick down and see if that changes anything, because of course I'm using this in the PS4 controller and you know emulating through that, because yeah. Otherwise, I swear to you, I am not that bad at this. I'm not necessarily good, but I am just fucking phoning it in, apparently. Down! God! Christ. Also, I believe that this order was completely vanilla. Yeah. That's weird. I cannot believe that I'm struggling this much with this. This is not that hard. Like, what, am I playing this on the GameCube port or something suddenly? <sighs> fuck you! Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you! I... I cannot like, believe that I'm not timing it right. I'm... Yes, this is gonna be the part of the stream where I'm a little angry, because, honestly, how? This... I, I swear I'm doing this well, a little more right than it looks like. Great, I just failed that, like, seven times in a row, and... Like, you can tell that I'm walking around fine. It's, you know, that's working all right. And that the stick sensitivity was not as high as it was. But definitely, that did not go as smoothly in terms of control as this had back when I was on Project 64. So, I... I sincerely feel like there is something different about how this emulator is dealing with this compared to Project 64. So that is very unfortunate and a little bit irritating. Right. Actually, I can just hook shot up to that, can't I? No, I can't. Never mind. And that's not the place to jump from. I had to jump to the middle, right? Yes. And that is the Nocturne of Shadow. Not as helpful as I thought it would be, but I also forget if there's another song that's purple. And again, a song is only going to do me so much good because it's not usable right now. Alright, what do you got for me? Stone of Agony. Useful, I suppose, but... I th think I know where most things are. And this is just nut, I think, but... 
Maybe it's capacity up? No. Not even that. Well, that's a shame. Although there is a neat thing with this randomizer that you might have gotten a quick look at there. Which is that the Stone of Agony shows up on your HUD when it's going off. There we go. Again, I need to remember that the shoulder button is on the other side. I was not expecting this to, to do things to me like this, but here we are. And that was completely useless of a reward. We can go get the dude on the roof now, however, because that is just completely free. We can check if these shops have changed. I don't think they do, but don't remember. Yeah, see, this guy, like, I think his, the order of his items got shuffled, but not the actual items. That's weird. Huh. Okay, this dude has a different shop entirely. Yeah, a piece of heart, another piece of heart, and garbage. Well, and a Goron tunic, I guess, but I already have a Goron tunic. Or, I mean, wait a second. I mean, there's a rig there's a Goron tunic hanging out somewhere in the world. What the fuck am I saying? If I, I I'm clearly still a little bit frustrated from the the thing with the the arrow mini game. Cause what was that? That's not the way to do it. Well, I mean, clearly that's what I'm wearing right now. But no, that's very much not what I said. Okay, we're on the roof. We are on the roof. We can go and, um... Have a god-awful camera angle here. In a game where the camera controls are only kind of on your side. There we go. What you got for me, buddy? Good to see you again. Piece of heart. Asshole. <laughs> oh well. Let's try this again. And surely we can't fuck it up too many times in a row, right? Alright, so that's a better uh, centering position here. Unfortunately, we have to do this, and I'm screwing up because of forgetting inverted camera controls for the vertical. This is definitely a case where, honestly, the solution would probably be just to switch to uh, controlling with the D-pad, because, yeah, I can see that, that big issue there. Uh, yeah, I fucked this up already. I'm gonna take a second. I'm going to see if I can't switch that uh, to let me use the D-pad here instead. Apparently not. Okay, um, that's good. Oh wait, no, the other thing. is one thing you will definitely be noticing that I'm bad at is doing just straight horizontal and vertical motions with the stick. I've never been good at that with any control stick. And honestly, they're all kind of bad for that, that very reason. Then again, nobody seems to know how to make a decent D-pad anymore. They, the Switch by default doesn't even have a fucking D-pad. Which is just... 
really very bad design in my opinion. I'm gonna go ahead and say it. That is, there aren't a lot of things about the Switch that I would consider wrong, but that, oh my goodness. That is very, very bad. What kind of a smart ass decided that that was okay? I mean, it has something resembling a D-pad. It has the four buttons that are directional on the standard Joy-Cons, but that's not quite a true D-pad in the same way because they're clearly intending for them to not be used that way. And of course, the Joy-Cons have the other problem of those wonderful, wonderful control stick drift issues, you know? So, on top of all of that, not only are they encouraging you away from using a quote-unquote D-pad, they are, you know, urging you in the direction of these control sticks instead that are some of the worst control sticks ever. Because they are just that... terrible. All right, so we're probably not going to be able to get uh, the the two phases of Dampe in one go here, unfortunately. Yeah, we're going to have to re-race Dampe. Oh, I'm the one who's drunk here, apparently, judging by these controls. All right, so let's open the chest. Well, we got a piece of the Triforce, that's nice. Oh, I screwed that up. And of course, we are locked in here as a result. Uh, let's do a quick reboot, cause, yeah. I was I was a little too slow. That's not something that I'm very well practiced at though, so I guess it is maybe bound to happen a little bit. Actually, there is a Big time scrub vault over in Ganon's Tower that is completely free because Ganon's Tower is open to start with. Like, sure, we can't really do much of anything in here. Fitting music. Like that, I think. Oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. We don't have a shield, so we can't do fast stabs on the iron knuckle. Nice music for the this sort of fight, though, I gotta, gotta admit. There's... Oh, I am suffering a little bit. Sure is, buddy. Get out of here. Need some hearts. Uh oh. Um. Come here. Come on, man. That works. That is not a behavior I was expecting the Armos to pull out of not coming after me. All right, so now we have to deal with these. Which is just a matter of timing. 
That turned out to be a lot easier than I thought, because I was about to be like, wait, are we blocked out of Ganon's castle because we don't have a shield? So that means that this is Master Quest, isn't it? Yes. So now I'm realizing I don't remember if the... I don't remember if the Scrub Shack is over here. Also, I do like how we're getting the tower chase music in here. Okay, good. We've got... We, we're in the scrub zone. Bomb shoes. Not my first choice. Piece of heart. And I already just got fully healed. Come on. Golden scale. That's a free item at Lake Hylia whenever I get around to there. All right, please at least give me a rupee from your drop. A small key for Ganon's castle. Oh. Piece of heart. We got a gold scale out of the deal. Oh god, that would... That would be incredibly over the top. Especially because I believe that... In this game, if you hear the same sound effects... Uh, if the sound effects get played more than once, they... They have the whole additive volume thing going on for them, where... Like, it'll sound like you're... You know, they, they just get louder. So your ears would just splinter off at that sound. You would die. Yeah, exactly. There goes your ears. If you go deaf in the game, you go deaf in real life. Well, that pays for another shot at the archery minigame. So we can screw that up again. Because, wow, again, my... My, uh, my sensitivity must be really, really messy there. I... am also very sad that I cannot just set... The control to uh, the D-pad for, for that mode for a bit. Actually, I am going to look at my controller config options again real quick. See if there's anything I can do with this. No, it doesn't look like it. I'd probably have to be using a different controller plugin entirely. If that's even a thing with this emulator and BizHawk and all of that. Besides, it's nighttime. We can't go in there right now anyway. Don't be a fool. Well, okay. I guess you can if you want. I'm not your mother. Some sort of little wound in your ear. Oh, that's... That's gotta be pretty annoying. Uh, getting yourself hurt in, in your ear there, because... Ooh... All right, Dampe, let's... Let's do this without me getting set on fire so much this time. All right, buddy? You just give me the easy fire RNGs, and I get the item for free. Never mind. Hey. 
Alright, this way is a little safer. Don't go up the right side. Go up the left side. Oh, I got way too close to the edge there. That I was like, okay, I'll you know, I'll I'll arc in a little bit, or rather not arc out, I guess, is a better way to put it. Yeah, that was... That was done very terribly, to say the least. Especially this time, we were going slower. We got to the door at 21 seconds instead of 19. Threw that in sub 40. I think that's normal. I don't roll off the edge. Exactly one minute. Is that good enough for you? Yes, it is. And there's our giant's wallet. That's what I wanted to do last time. The side jump is easier, apparently, but I did not realize that at the time. In that case, we cannot get the thing that is usually at Song of Storms. We can, however, go climb Death Mountain. And we can finally remember to go trade in that claim check that we got at the beginning of the game. We can get an item in Goron City by breaking open the red rocks. Goron City shop has probably not changed. But we can still get the item that's usually where the free Goron Tunic is. I mean, I guess that's a free spider. We should probably do that. Hey, that's not where I wanted to... Ah, crud. I don't think that what I wanted to do there was, like, even possible. I was trying to... Yeah, that, that looks like it's over by the... Uh... That looks like it's over by the higher wall, so you can't really just drop a bomb down and be like, Hey, yeah, I'll come back for that in a sec. Unfortunate, but it is what it is, I suppose. Way the rolling rocks. There should also be a few more free uh, spiders for us to pick up. I can try going to the scrub shack at the end of the lava area in Goron City in the absolute stupid way, where you just go in there uh, and you get in the lava and you hook shot up real quick before you take lava damage. Or in between lava damage instances, rather. And I can just screw that up too. That's that's always a good time. But I think it has to actually be nighttime outside. No, I hear it going. Oh darn it!
Hey. So yeah, Medigoron is not gonna have a thing. I haven't randomized uh I haven't randomized that into the item pool or the carpet salesman. Yeah, this is the thing I'm never good at, so... You know, just like the rest of the game, expect a moment or two of me goofing this up. So close, man. We were like almost there. <laughs> Damn it. It seemed like it should have worked if only I had plucked the second bomb flower much sooner, but yeah, here we are. This would probably be a lot easier to time if we had the bow, but we don't. Oh, I just screwed up the timing on uh, using both bomb flowers to try and get the little rolling Goron a little bit, and by a little bit, I mean quite a lot. There we go, that's better. This is a thing that I'm not good at, to say the least. Alright. Yes, yes, you have a lot of words to say. <sighs> Thanks. Kid. Get the fuck out of here, buddy. <laughs> Get away from me, kid, you bother me. Alright, so let's try doing this the stupid way. Oh no, that's not gonna happen. We're... We're taking hits too fast. That... That's gonna be a problem. Uh, do you sell a red shirt here, guys? No, it's the blue shirt they sell. Well, I don't have a whole lot really to say about that, so instead I'm making weird noises just because, uh, oh, sometimes this game hurts me so. 
by sometimes I mean very regularly. Let's take some money. Uh... Hole in the ground. Hey, buddy. Alright. Let's see some good items here. Come on. Piece of the Triforce. Recovery heart, because there's got to be one in every group, I guess. And five rupees. Uh huh. Well, a piece of the Triforce is nice, at least, so there's that. Silver Gauntlets! Yeah! That reminds me, I should go into that one room in Goron City. Here. Can't use that yet, of course. And that is the location of where that Deku scrub is as a child. That always confuses me. That one jerk. Link around the hole. What do we got? That's not what I wanted to pick up. Prelude of Light can be found at Gerudo Valley. Found an empty bottle. So, we have three of the, oh right. No, there isn't Rudo's letter because I made Sora's fountain open. Durr. I can go in there as a kid. I can go to Jabu Jabu's belly as a result. There's another item I think I can get there, uh, other than checking out the whale. I can. Fuck up a jump really badly there. What is that? I forgot that that was, uh... We got you couldn't make the jump, I guess. Uh, I think there's another item at... Child Zora's Fountain, I believe, other than... the entrance to the whale. And other than Furore's Wind, or where that usually is, because, of course, I can't get the... I can't use the Fairy Fountains right now, for reasons that we have gone into before. Can I break these coconuts? Yes, but I don't think that's actually of any use. I think that just drops Deku Seeds or something. Which, of course is not a thing that we have to concern ourselves with at this juncture because of a complete lack of slingshots. That's a yellow song. It is the sun song, probably. Yes, yes, it's the sun song. Alright, so let's not take the complete goofus way here. Let's go back out. I think we can get out of here in 20 seconds. 15 seconds. 
Ten seconds. Yeah. All right. Show him the claim check. The long shot. Ooh. And see, this seat is much more my speed. Oh, that's one of those that I had targeted, not the... Not the wall spider. Fine, I guess I'll start moving. Okay, I guess that only shows up at night. Fine, game, you win for now. I'll go back down the mountain. I'll go to the cow hole. Get his money. Get these recovery hearts. And this money, I think, regenerates, so we can just... pop in and out a couple of times and stock up, because... As you've seen, we will need a lot of cash for me to be able to do certain things because I am completely incompetent. Yeah, we're just going to do this for a minute or two. Pretty close to nighttime, so we can grab those two spiders after that. We can grab the one in Goron City if I don't fuck up again, which then again saying that. Also, by the way, check out our bright purple silver gauntlets. Those would look a lot cooler in like something with more high-res models, but this is the N64 era, so can't quite get away with that, but yeah. Neat. Let me 
just two more. And by that I mean one more. To fill our wallet, and we will be able to... Well, I mean, I guess we could buy a Zora tunic if we wanted to, but more importantly, we should be quite able now to take on that archery minigame. Without completely running ourselves out of cash. I was saying that may still happen, who knows. Yay! One of the other modes to the randomizer that is of some interest that I have never tried before is token sanity, where the skull spiders have all of their items replaced with uh, just random stuff, and tokens are thrown into other boxes and things. In particular, I'm very curious about whether or not you can still uh, Z-target the, the items that were formerly tokens. And you can use the exploit in the uh, Hyrule Castle area, where which you can usually use to gain infinite Skulltula tokens, where you play the Song of Storms, you open that one grotto. Like, I'm sure that everybody knows how this works, but just in case you don't. It's a thing you do as a kid, you open up the grotto, you, uh, you get the spot, you get the Skulltula inside. You boomerang it and you flip out of the, of the hole while it's still coming back to you. Oh, that was funky. And, um, back to what I was saying. So you do all that. And if the token gets to you after you flip out of the... After you get out of the hole uh, from the boomerang flying back to, to you, you go back in, the spider will still be there. So I'm curious if you can still do stuff like that with uh, token sanity going on a randomizer. And if you can potentially, like, do silly things, you know, gather infinite of certain items that you should definitely not have more than one of. That sounds like it would be really funny. On the other hand, over these rocks, why not? <laughs> nice. There's the loser one rupee that gets thrown into the thing. Uh, is that, did we get that already? Yes, we got that because we dropped the bomb on that spider. So we really gave that sucker a piece of our mind. All right. Let us get back down the down the hole, down the hill rather. Let's go back down the mountain, and we will check out that archery mini game again. Hopefully, I can stop being so useless at it. Alright, well we got out here by the sound of the rooster crowing pretty much perfectly, so... Hopefully, that is still going to give us time to get in here.
Why the fuck are people setting off fireworks? I'm gonna mute my mic for a moment because of that shit. Okay, so as soon as I muted my mic, it stopped, and also I managed to do this in one go, and it was just worth a fucking purple rupee, so... Multiple ouches, because I couldn't even get all of that money! And also, I literally got back way less than I put in! Welp! God, why are people, like, setting off fireworks right now anyway? It's May 16th, like... Am I missing something? Is there some sort of holiday around this part of the world that I just don't know about? Where I live? I don't even know if, like, anything happened sports-wise. I think the hole that I'm looking for is over there, and I'm pretty sure it's just a cow hole. It's a cow pit. Not to be confused with a cow pie, that is completely different. Yeah, it's just, there's nothing there of any real value. That's a shame. But you can tell that I don't remember everything, despite the fact that I've been trying. And as I was saying before, but never really got to finish saying, because Brysol showed up and I was... ...memeing with him. Is that, yes, I probably could just use a... Uh, ...a tracker. But I've decided that I'm going to try and get a little more acclimated to this by just, you know, mental ability, you know. Learn to try and memorize a few things first before I switch over to a tracker. So that way, you know, to, to basically prove that I have any sort of, you know, skill whatsoever, I guess. Well, there's the gold gauntlets. That was fast. What's their gold gauntlets look like? Oh, they're... They're like that nasty rusted copper green. The item in the waterfall has been gotten.
You, did I check this? You, Gossip Stone? Yes, that's right, you're telling me about the water trial. Get in the water, come on. Drop and dive and there we go. No need to cheat it there. Hey you. Alright, goat man. He's hard. Ah. Uh. Isn't that what he gives you normally, anyway? Alright. Alright, 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 alright. Let's go over here. There we go. Right in the hole. Just bombs. Dang it. Dang it, Bobby. Not a whole lot of items. Yeah, we already know about that. Stone of Agony. Okay, and there's the open hole. Already dealt with that. Okay, so over this way, there should be something over here. I think it's a gray rock, it might be a bomb rock. There is a gray rock in the field somewhere other than the one over by the castle, right? And I think it covers up a a grotto. Oh, well, piece of the Triforce. All right, all right, all right, all right. 65% so far, by the way. For those of you who are keeping score, for some reason. I think we are just eventually going to have to break down and go into a dungeon, by the way. Which, I know, I make it sound like such an imposition, but... Alright, so if this ghost doesn't want to shut up... Training Grounds is Master Quest. Ew! That means I don't think we can do anything if we go in there right now. Because we don't have the bow. Hmm. What a load of boots. Well... Um, we can go in the fire temple. We can go... Well, obviously we can go in the tree. We can go in Dong. In fact, we can complete Dong, I'm pretty sure. Which means that I believe that that is what we're going to do, is we're going to go... And we're going to go complete Dong. <laughs> oh man, that Poe didn't taste very good. 
Because there, there's some shop scrubs in Dong, among a few other things. We can go in the tree, we can possibly do some, Yeah, we can definitely do some stuff, because we have sticks. Uh, we have the sword, we have a child shield. We can go to Child Zora's Fountain, and we can do some amount of Jabu Jabu, I think. We can go to the Fire Temple. And those are our options right now, is we can do like three dungeons. So I'm going to go to Dodongo's Cavern because I believe that that will be the easiest. And yes, that is with it being a Master Quest dungeon. But also we have bombs. And we're an adult so we can just kill things instantly basically. In fact, I think we might be able to one-shot King Dodongo once we get there. Don't take my word for it or anything, but I think that is actually the case. Yeah, Navi, I know how the lava works. Shut up. Don't care. I do not care. <laughs> Got him! Village more to the piece of heart. Is that telling me that I get a piece of heart from the ghost side quest? Thanks a lot, assholes. I guess that's what I get for being so absolutely free as far as kills go. There might be some things that I can't do without the bow here, but I don't believe there are. But for now, we are just gonna uh, get cooked a little bit there. Turn that on, and yes, because this dungeon is basically like completely backwards from the regular version. That said, I, I really do love the Master Quest in concept for shit like that. The map. I'm the map, I'm the map. Give me your map. And this is normally the way forward. Oh, that was not very uh, useful of an endeavor. All right, so this is a, a bomb chain reaction room. We can just do that the, the smart way. Oh, that might have caused an issue. Hopefully not. All right, scrub, give me your item. It's 50 bucks. Of course we get it before we pay for the item, because logic. Okay, so we can't actually go this way right now, because we don't have the bow! That's okay, we can basically skip this entire dungeon in terms of, like, if we need to kill the boss. But that's not our, that's not our thing that we need to do right now, so... We're just going to comb this entire place with a fine-tooth comb.
That's right, we can just bust those crates open using the... That method. Alright, so we don't have to go this way. So that should open both of those, maybe? I think that's how that works. No, that one's not open. So what's, the, what's the deal? Did it just not want to do it? Or is it too far away or something? Do you have to actually be over there for the, the thing to go off? That's weird. And I didn't really realize that. Huh. Anyway, in here, I think there are more scrubs. However, they may be the wrong kind of scrub. This may just be a room for an adult Sculptula. Which, I'll take that if I can find it. Yeah, there it is. I have to remember also that I do have the long shot, so range is never going to be an issue, at least when it comes to that stuff. All right, so we're pretty close to being able to take our first gold spider prize. I don't know what it's going to be, but it may be important. I will chase you. I'll find you, I will hurt you. Okay, that looked fucked up. Probably because we're absolutely not supposed to be going that way. Alright. So that's this side of the first floor done. I don't remember how to get into the other side of the first floor. Or, in fact, if that's really even a... Th Do we have to go up there and hit the switch? I think that's... I think that actually is what the deal is here, is... Go up and hit the switch. Let's open the skull head while we're over here. Huh? 
honestly game, you could just almost leave that open. Okay, and that will open the west side of the bottom floor. Alright, default camera angles, you don't need to be giving Link an upskirt. It's an N64 game, there's nothing drawn down there anyway. Another piece of heart! How original! Oh, wait. Alright, so this bit, we can just go around. Because we're basically doing this room backwards. And now we get another fight against these stupid lizards. Just show off that we can indeed one-shot them. Why not? Let's do it. Carefully so we don't drop down. Ha! I knew, you'd, knew I'd find that here. There we go. Circumvent the entire puzzle. And see, this would be where we'd run into a bit of an issue because we would want to be able to, uh... Yeah, we have no source of fire, so we can't actually finish... Uh, we, we can't light these torches, is what I mean. We don't even have a bow, so we can't try to do trick shots that wouldn't actually work. Because we wouldn't be able to get the proper angle without, like, spider manning. Alright, so let's check this side of the... He has a chest for our troubles. And my sincere hope is that it's a useful item. I would love, love, love an ocarina or a slingshot or a bow or, you know, any of that kind of stuff. Bombs will only take you so far. Life advice, you know? <laughs> oh man, it took it took that goofus a second to react. That's pretty great.
Nice. Alright, so there's nothing to do in here. I thought there was a scrub in there, but I believe that's regular mode. This should take us up to... There's a scrub. <laughs> Maybe I'm the scrub for getting knocked down like that. Alright, come on, scrub. Give me an item. Magic meter. Ooh. That is neat. Okay, so is that this entire side... Both sides of the... Yeah. So at this point, there's like one other thing that we can do other than go into the skull. And that requires fire that we don't have. Meanwhile, we're gonna go through this entire area, because I'm... Actually, wait, now, what, what am I doing? Let's do this the easier way. We can skip over the puzzles, damn it. We may as well. I mean, because otherwise, how often do we get to do this? Oh yeah, about as often as I play this, right? Right. Bonk. Don't remember what that does, but I assume that that's the thing that lets us get over the barrier in the other direction, right? to use some semblance of stereophonics and hearing, but... Anyway, this is a hilarious thing that we can do. And I'm going to take a bunch of damage for it, but it's funny, so... I'm gonna just beat the living tar out of every single one of those. Underneath this thing? Now it sounds like it's closer to that wall. Is it on top of there? Yes, I think it is. I can really like just hit you with the legs or something. No. So this is a thing. I haven't been able to show this off very much before, but yeah, the the Master Quest dungeons really do love you uh, doing stuff with bomb shoes. That's going pretty all right. We have made a decent chunk of progress, but we're still missing some very important items, most notably any proper long-range weaponry other than the hook shot, which doesn't entirely count. Although we did just get the magic meter, so that's nice. Unfortunately, I think our only magic item is Nehru's love, yeah. Oh, right, 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 right. It doesn't want me to just go through the flames. How do you like that? Nice, uh, well-aimed straight shot there. Alright, 
right, so in here... Is there even a chest in here? Yes, there is. Okay, cool. It's just gonna be underneath the gravestone. Well, there's our Zora tunic. We don't have to buy that anymore. And it's a horrible color. Awesome. Get our chicken suit on here, I guess. Like, the problem is, it might be okay if it would had, like, reflection on it, so that way it could be gold. I mean, it being a gold suit would still be a little bit on the goofy side, but also... I guess it would work. That's always fun. Right. Fill my health up. Go through here. And it's boss time. Although we're not 100% complete with this dungeon even after that because there's some stuff that we just can't get at right now. Oh yeah, this requires an actual bomb. All right, let's hear some weird boss music choices here. Can't really hear what it is. And I suppose it's not possible to one-shot this dude? Oh, we have Jabu Jabu music for the boss. For, uh, for the Death Mountain bosses. That is weird. It produces an atmosphere, that's for dang sure. That's not a bad fanfare for killing a boss. What's our item? It's Peace of the Triforce! Fair enough! Fair enough! I am not surprised that I have to actually, you know, kill the bosses for those. That's just like... Just like some Zelda 1 there. Gotta kill them bosses to get them Triforce chunks. Oh, this music. I love this music a lot. I've probably mentioned that before. You know what? I've got too much money. I want that Goron tunic. And I want your disgustingly expensive pieces of heart. Even the cheap one. Yeah, this is for uh, Gerudo Valley. And I guess... Outside Gerudo Fortress, technically, too, but just, just want to take a moment to point out that it's a really good piece of music. Maybe one of my favorites in the entire game. So we've got that Goron tunic. We're going to go back to... Um, we're going to go back to Goron City real quick. And I'm going to take a moment to go, hey, I should probably have gone and checked in with the spider house. But we're going back to Goron City for the reasons of... Um... Oh my god, I managed to forget. Oh yeah, we're gonna go into the back of the... Because we bought that Goron tunic, right? So... 
Oh, it's like almost completely black. That actually is, again, kind of fitting in a way that it's like the color of charred something. You know, just, just, just charcoal black almost for a, a suit that provides you fire protection. Because we're going over here. Or we will if I aim it properly, which is going to be a bit of an ask. Yeah, see, you gotta you gotta do it fast, otherwise the, you take the fire damage, and you can't get up here to a scrub hole. Which is a source of, of a quick three items. Light arrows? Not useful without the bow. But if we had the bow, it was a good source of cash. Piece of the Triforce. See, good reason to buy that tunic. We are 75% done with that Triforce. And the Fire Arrows. Again, we're kind of missing an important piece of the equation there, but I like where this is headed. So with that, let me take a quick moment here to think to myself. Is there anything else easy that comes to mind that I can do on the overworld as I am currently equipped? Um... I believe the answer to that is going to be no. So we're going to save. I'm going to control R. You're going to get a little bit of jitter because, you know, why not? And that's going to take us back to the Temple of Time. Yeah, you go ahead and go to sleep. We're... We're reasonably close to wrapping up, I think, so yeah. Uh, this might be it for the night, you know, very shortly. But thanks for coming out anyway. Do we not get that item yet? I thought we got the item that was here uh, around now. But I suppose I was wrong. So we're gonna travel back to the Temple of Time. We're going to not be able to climb over the altar as a child for some reason. We're going back to Kakariko to get our reward from the spider house. Oh yeah, we don't have the we don't have Zelda's letter yet, so we can't do the the mask sales and stuff. If we had that, I'd say, hey, we have two free items in the Lost Woods, but we don't have that, so we're a little bit up the creek without a paddle there. We really need to go get that weird egg if that'll ever show up. However, we can still go to Kakariko, as we darn tootin' well should, and go find out what that item is. If it's the Oak Arena, this this seed just busts right open. If it's the weird egg, we get a good number of checks too. So come on, buddy. Show me potato salad. Damn it. 
bomb shoes. Fuck. Well. You know what? We can go plant our magic beans places. We have access to most of those spots already. We can go... Shut up. Fuck off! I'm trying to roll here, you... Jerk. Alright, so we can plant that. I think there is one worth planting in the Lost Woods. It is not worth planting the one in Zora's River. We can't get to DMC, we can't get to Desert Colossus. So those are no-goes. Uh, the three in Kokiri Forest, none of those are of any value as far as that. Well, there's the one, so that's six. Uh, DMT we don't need to do, that's seven. Zora's River. That's eight, Gerudo Valley, nine. Lake Hylia, we do need to do. Because while we can get up there with the Scarecrow song, that's a little bit useless of a piece of information when we don't have a way to play the damn thing. I mean, come on, Link, just use your your shield and a Deku stick like a drum. That'll do. That's... That resembles an actual instrument, I swear to you. Child fishing, actually, while we're over here. That might have an item. And then, let's see, we go to Zora's Domain. Lost Woods. Well, again, we should check Zora's Fountain first. And double check that there isn't something there, because I think there is. Other than, of course, a big fat whale. That doesn't really count. go to, like, the edge or something. I think that is what I have to do. Alright. Fishing minigame. I don't 100% remember... Uh, how to catch the, uh, where to cast to catch the fish that we're looking for here, but. Come 
Come on, buddy. That's a pretty big looking fish. I bet it's like 5.9 pounds, though. Just under the record. Oh, that thing is huge when you pull it out of the water. Eight pounds? That'll do, pig. That'll do. All right. Give me your enhanced Deku nut thing. Well. Okay. That's all I got to say about it is, okay. I can't complain. I mean, honestly, Deku nut, that's still viable. Uh, enhanced Deku Nut carrying capacity is good for dealing with a certain somebody who is called Ganon. Oh, I screwed that up really badly. Ah, whatever. Nobody will notice. Who am I kidding? Sheesh. Let's go check this place out and see if there is indeed an item hanging out back here that is not just Big Fish Craw. Unfortunately, I don't know how to cheese into the ice cavern, otherwise I could do that, and I think there's an actual item in there. Ganon's Castle Hordes Bomb Chews. It probably should, because there's at least one thing in there that is designed around you having bomb choose to solve it. Oink. Shut up, Navi. I'm not going in the tree. Kiss my ass. Honestly, I don't see why I couldn't. Oh, right, because I don't have all the items to complete it, and that would be a little bit silly then. All right, well, there's a free spider over there, I guess, because you just roll into that tree. Ganon's castle's on the path of gold, so that, I believe, means that there is a Triforce chunk in Ganon's castle. I forget if we got one earlier when we went in the room that was just like a billion scrubs. But if we did not, well, I don't know what else to say after that. So, being at Lake Hylia, right? Oh, yeah, we gotta go and. Uh. Go to the Lost Woods, that's right. That being, being a place where we can't go as an adult, so that's useful, I guess. I mean, we can go there as an adult, but we don't have a flute to do it with. We are lacking through instruments there. So we're getting the, the direction thing going for this now. <laughs> I 
I've actually never noticed that little drum roll in that. Oh, no, that's from that thing. Whoops, that was perfectly timed. I got baited pretty impressively there by by that one. All right. Fine, Navi, I'll go in the fucking tree if it'll make you happy. Will, will it shut you up for, like, ever, please? The correct answer to that is no, by the way. Navi will not ever shut up. Guess we can have Nut in our down arrow here. Alright, let's take a quick double check here. I don't think there's anything of any value in here. Yeah, it's... yeah. Over here, we should be able to deal with this now, because this is just a scrub. It's not even a shop scrub, though. I mean, come on, game. Yeah, yeah. There's a song. Again, bit of a problem here, because I have nothing that I can use it with. And there is an item over here, though, so that's a recovery heart. Good, I'm glad. Side. Do, 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 Drop. Yeah, we know you're there, large sculptula. You exist, apparently. Alright, so how much are we missing from this dungeon chest-wise? Oh, I guess we won't know because we don't have the map. So we can't see the other floors. I mean, obviously there's nothing on the bottom floor other than the contents of Queen Goma's body. 
which I'm not 100% sure if we can fight that right now. Like, we might be able to just throw a nut at Queen Goma and that does something, but I don't know if that's the case. Dungeon map. Are there seriously no other uh, chests here whatsoever aside from the item that's on Goma? Alright, well, I just hope that I don't have to. Oh, well, I guess I do. Never mind. I guess we can't finish this right now. Like, if I knew how to do mega flips or anything like that, I could just do that and get up there. But as I have no understanding of that sort of shit whatsoever, we're coming back to this later. That, once again, fuck you, leaves our overworld options being a bit limited. Well, okay, rather our dungeon options are pretty limited. Our overworld options... Actually, yeah, what the hell am I talking about? Our overworld options aren't terribly great in either. Um... Let me see if I can hash this out mentally. No Song of Storms, so there's a lot of stuff that we just can't get to right now without that. Oh, right, I know a thing we can do. We should go and get that thing at DMC as a child, because that's the thing that we need to get. Unfortunately, we can't go and plant a bean as a child in DMC. And yeah, pardon me, I am currently looking at the grottos list, so if my pathing gets really bad suddenly, that, that'll be why. Why it has abruptly become worse than usual.
All right, so I think that's everything that I just looked through, and it looks like... Uh, yeah, our grotto options appear to be exhausted outside of anything that we would need bombs for. They're not bombs, uh, Song of Storms, rather. Again, I am no longer sure uh, if I, I even have Song of Storms, because of course, I have nothing to play Song of Storms on. Is why would I have that? Okay, cool, despite these rocks being on fire, they do not uh, burn my shield up, that's good. I mean, they still hurt like fuck, but that is almost be expected at this point. Hi, Owl. Not interested right now. It won't help me. Let me roll into the crate. Should I just try dropping a bomb on it? That might help. There we go. All right. So, business scrub. What you got for me? What a fucking waste. You're an asshole, business scrub. You're a complete asshole. We just barely had time to do that. Let's go back in because there is a... Well, first of all, there's a hole right here. I think I've been in this already, but there's also... More to the point. Yeah, I've been in here. More to the point, there's a gossip stone around here, and I would like to check that out and see if maybe that will tell us something about where to find... Something useful. Because again, in it is very particularly this lack of an ocarina that is killing me. Let's see, the hammer unlocks a green room. Yes, we already know about that. And we had a good laugh about it, I think. I certainly laughed anyway. And then I looked at how few items I had and I cried. So, you know, real, real mixed bag there, that's for sure. Uh, where do those hearts go? Oh, they're literally all trapped. Okay. Alright, well. Take me with you, bird. Come on. As you drop me out on a rooftop in Kakariko Village. You know what? Okay, buddy. Sure. That is a location that I can be dropped to and is a little bit closer to Castle Town, so that's fine. Right, so the two main places where we've inserted a bean are at opposite ends of the map. But we're going to check those and then I think that's going to be it for the day. Because I've already stretched this out a little bit longer than I usually go. But on the other hand, I did such a short stream last Sunday that, you know, maybe why not lengthen this a little bit, right? It feels like I kind of shortchanged you all a little bit. 
So let's see if we can't do a little better here. Into the future we go. Okay, I can tell that it's a little more green than I thought it was before this tunic, by the way, but not by a ton. Only a bit. Alright, so let's go to the Kakariko Graveyard. Become disappointed once again. You guys have different messages? No. Yeah, when all else fails, use fire. Yeah, that's not gonna be very, uh, much of a thing I can do here, unfortunately. I'm just hoping to go pick these up and it's like, hey, weird egg and ocarina. And then I'm just like, okay, yeah, that's that's it. It's over. Nobody cares, ghost. Go away. Another song. We have got to have, like, all of these at this point. Come on. Like, how heavily are we... We got six songs and nothing to play a single one of them on. <laughs> wow. Thanks a lot. Hey! 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 Hey!
That thing follows you for a while. Wow. Got two quick items to grab here. Those being the thing on the roof. Yeah, we know we can summon Pierre to get over here, but we don't have a thing. You know that already, Navi. You piece of shit bird! It's okay, I saw it. It was a heart container. Or a heart container. Piece of heart. I no longer care. However, I do need to get back on the bean in order to take it to the fishing place. I guess. This may not be the guy, but we're giving it a shot. Part of it is that you can't really tell how big the fish is from far away either. Oh, look at him jump. This one's got some muscle in that tail. Pulling back him. Holding A. It should be a little bit. Oh, that thing looks a lot longer. Now that it's getting closer. Come on! Don't be a jerk. Get out of the water and get my hands. That's a pretty big fish. Ten pounds. I think that's good enough. <laughs> I got nothing to say about that. That's that's hilarious, though. You have met the kind of people that come to the Stacy. Oh, hello there, <laughs> McCruz. I do not know who this this person is, but thank you very much for rating. I actually was getting pretty close to wrapping up, so that uh, <laughs> is quite unfortunate timing. But thank you nonetheless. I do appreciate it. I guess I'll do a little more though, just because again, you got a little bit of a raid. May as well. And it would really disappoint everybody if I just quit right as I got the raid, right? Well, thank you. Let's go. I'm gonna walk off of the edge apparently because I'm not walking straight. Whoops. I'm going to go over to the fire temple. And we'll we'll hunker down in there, and that will be where we start next time. As I have to walk all the way over there. <laughs> I still have no ocarina whatsoever. <laughs> what am I at like 18 pieces of the Triforce, I think? I'm pretty sure it's 17 actually, but I've gotten a lot of a lot of that, and I've gotten a well, you can see I've got the long shot, I've got the hammer, I've got good items, I just am missing a few that are very important. And you're just, you're stuck in that position. Yeah. 
Yeah. Can't warp either, so I really have to take the long way home. But it, it really is just like, oh, you... F <laughs> what level of idiot do you ever feel like in a position like that? These randomizers are fun for that reason, though, where it's like, oh, I have to do something a little bit different. I mean, sure, that this part of things is a little tedious, but... When you're forced to think outside the box in order to find solutions to certain things, that's pretty great. And that's why I play a lot of these different randomizers, especially on Sundays, which is why I'm doing this today. Oh right, I'd be like, what am I going to go on city for? I forgot what I need here. That's right, I have to go in there to go out back to get to Death Mountain Crater. Well, the part of Death Mountain Crater that is actually useful to me right now. In as far as getting to the Fire Temple. Actually, speaking of which... I can do a thing in through in there. As I said, these are a lot of fun, so... Ah, yes, good old stick sensitivity. It's a bit of a weird thing. Get over here, we already got the item from this, so that's nothing to worry about. You don't have to touch that panel, you just have to hook shot across to, to get that item, if I recall correctly. So yeah, we are in a territory of regular Fire Temple here. Let's at least check out the stuff that is freely accessible. Uh, the... I think there's a Flare Dancer here, but we don't have to worry too much about that. We've got the hammer. And if I recall correctly, the hammer takes care of the Flare Dancers very nicely. Oh, right, I don't have to hit this from the top. I hit it from the side. And that works just fine. That's fine. Nice of the bat to just get right inside of my hammer as I was using it to deal with the magma slug. Uh, the magma slug whose name I actually think is Torch Slug, but I've been saying magma slug forever for some reason. Could just refer to it as Slugma, but that seems like a bit of an insult to Slugma, you know? Or 
An insult to the torch slug, rather. Oh, Slugma. That sure is a Pokemon that... ...is really unfortunate. Oh, there's another one of those. Alright, so in here we got a big roaring flame. Get over here! Oh, I wasn't fast enough to take full advantage of that. Scorpion, we ain't. Or maybe that counts as a hit. You, uh, grapple it. I think it does, actually. Although, again, you should definitely not take my word for it on that. Don't get blown up by it, you'll feel real embarrassed. So we get a couple of free chests. Wait a sec, I, I just realized we have vanilla music in here. Randomizer! You ain't holding up your end of the bargain. And of course, we don't have to actually talk to the Gorons. Especially not in the randomizer. Eh, you know what, we'll, we'll do this one more room and then be done. Sheesh. I'm, I'm so bad at stopping things. When did I get to be this bad at stopping things? Up we go. There we go. All right. Hey, you. Well, there's a map. That is not 100% useful right this minute. Whole seems like it was safe, judging by the lack of the walking on lava sounds. Which, incidentally, is definitely a thing that Link should probably not be able to do. Just in terms of, yeah, that would not be good for him. And okay, all right, seriously, that I think is going to be it for today. So far, this is my first time doing one of these Triforce Hunt uh, randomizers, and so far I'm having a pretty good time with it. Where does it show how many of these we have? Can we check in the... this thing, maybe? No? Oh, okay, it's right at the bottom of the screen. I was way wrong. It's 16 out of 20 that we have so far, but still, that is well over half. So that is a pretty good session of this that we've had this first go around. Wow.